and welcome back. All right, so in the last 15 to 20 years or so, when you think of snowboarding, there's probably one person you likely think of, right? Yes. Okay, we're all thinking of Olympian Sean White. So take a look at the trailer for Max original docu-series, Sean White, The Last Run. As long as I can remember, this is what I've done. I just don't know who I am without it. This is his final performance. Sean White, take, take one. one. This has been the craziest journey. Sean was born with four defects of the heart. But growing up, he was fearless. I was five when I started snowboarding. He started getting podiums in the pro events at 12, 13, 14. All of a sudden, I'm a millionaire at 15. And that was my biggest fear. Money ruins families. It was wild. Things just blew up. He won Summer X Games. He won Winter X Games. He won Pipe. He won Slope. Who does that? Sean White! Oh my god. I I just won the Olympics. It's the best year of my life. I can't believe it. My life was never going to be the same again. But I couldn't help but think, <laughs> this is just the beginning. I just started to party. I started drinking, and I had this fear of not amounting to anything. So I turned my focus back to snowboarding. Perfect score! Unbelievable! Winning equaled happiness. That is its own addiction. It's just not enough. I got to keep going. But life's plans don't always match up with mine. All of a sudden, the record stopped turning. It's gotten harder. I don't flip as fast as I used to. I know what's looming in the distance. If I could just win the next Olympics, then I could retire. It's not just walking away from the sport. It's walking away from a piece of identity. Who do you think you want to be when you get older, Sean? The world's most famous pro snowboarder. Give it up for Sean White! So, Sean, this is going to be the last run. Okay, this makes me sad on some Doesn't it look Before good, you though? tell me anymore, I when we focus so hard on mm -hmm. success, especially at an early age, where do you have to go from that but down? Yeah, what's funny is so there's, I believe there's four episodes. I don't know if that's like total or yeah. just what's out right now because this just released today. Um, and it's funny because I watched the first episode, but even just seeing that trailer, the first thing that comes to my mind is like, I have to imagine that there's some degree of him that feels like he still so much to prove even though he's done so much. Yeah. And I'm like, that has got to be an like, unsurmountable amount of stress that I don't uh -huh. even want to experience. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's kind of crazy. So the thing is, this docu-series, first of all, is really well done. Um, the, like I said, the, I've only watched the first episode, but they're all like an hour. So it's kind of like watching four different movies, yeah. right? Yeah. The crazy thing is, so this follows his journey up to the 2022 Winter Olympics, mm -hmm. which was slated to be his last run. Spoiler alert, it was. Mm -hmm. um, he did not end up placing at the 2022, 2022 Olympi yeah, Winter Olympics. I don't feel Olympics. like I even heard his name much yeah, in the last year. That was what years. was crazy. A lot of people were following it because a lot of people knew it was probably going to yeah. be his last. He didn't end up placing, but he still announced his retirement. So it's interesting, though, because this, this show just takes such a deep dive into how he got to where he is today mm -hmm. um, and what it looks like to become so successful at what you do, not only because you're good at it, but also like in the limelight at such a young age and how you keep up with that. It's not good for anybody. I know, but there's a lot of interesting things that he's like done training wise and people that he's been connected to. So he actually got his start in skateboarding and was trained by um, okay. Tony Hawk for a little bit. Ah. So him and Tony Hawk have always had a relationship, which is interesting. Uh -huh. And then I think it was in his teens, he made this early teens, he made the switch from skateboarding to snowboarding, mm -hmm. which I guess he had followed in like his brother's footsteps. Like his, his whole family has some kind of like athletic ability to them, which mm -hmm. is kind of interesting. So, and usually that's like a high level of athletic yeah, ability. Yeah. That kind of thing runs in the family. Well, and it's interesting because as I teased before we watched the video, you know, it's like, this is a name that we all know. I mean, you, you can know nothing about snowboarding or nothing about the Olympics, but you probably know who Sean White is, or at least I've heard the name. Right. right. And it's just interesting to see see so much of like him and his image stripped back uh -huh. to just see this very raw real side of him of like mm -hmm. what am I going to do leading up to this and what am I going to do after the Olympics after who I retire? am I once all yeah. the things are stripped away yes so it really is a good kind of easy watch but it might make you a little bit emotional and it's on max so all go right. check it out thanks for that Blake <laughs>